Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Dan Delamarski. I'm a product manager and despite the recent trends of me talking about product management and interviewing, I'm going to be talking about tinkering. So I tinker with code in my free time a lot uh, because as a product manager, I don't get to write a lot of it for my job. So you'll have to just uh, watch me talk through some of the work that I've been doing recently. And what I want to be talking about today is a tool that uh, we released, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. It's called Power Toys Awake. It's a new tool for Windows that keeps your computer awake. It kind of does what the name actually says, which is not common for tools probably. What I want to do is just kind of give you a brief overview as to what led me to actually start coding that tool and where I ended up. So back, I want to say five or six years ago, I got my first Mac and that's when I realized that I really liked this tool that was built into it called um, Caffeinate and it would just keep my computer awake. It would keep the screen on. If I step away to a different room within my house, do not leave your screen on or computer unlocked. If you're going anywhere else, please, it's not a, a security tutorial here, but it's something to keep in mind anyway. But as I was using that tool, I just kind of got used to the fact that if I ever need to keep my computer awake, I can do so from the command line. Well, when I made the switch back to Windows, I realized that that did not exist. So if I wanted to make any changes to the power settings, I had to fiddle a lot with them. So I would have to go to the control panel, I'd have to go to the power plan settings, or I'd have to fiddle with some reg keys or launch some application in the background that would run like a GIF or a video in a loop. Not very efficient and not very, I wanna say easy to set up and reproduce as you kind of move from computer to computer. So at some point I got somewhat annoyed by it and I wrote a blog post of how to do this with PowerShell. And luckily for me, Windows offered an API that enables any application to tell, hey, hold on a second, like I need to process some data and can you keep the screen awake while I do this? So there is a native API for it. So Windows was designed to have that in. There was just no easy way to expose that to a user like myself. So what I did is I put together a blog post, like I mentioned, to just use that API in a PowerShell script. So I wrote a script, I wrote a blog post and said, you know, caffeinate your Windows machine with this PowerShell script. But that still adds that extra layer of, you need to write the script, you need to make sure that you set the right script policy because Windows sometimes will refuse to run a script you download from the internet. And so again, it was somewhat annoying because now you have these extra things that you need to be doing, which led me to thinking that maybe I should just write an app. And in talking with one of my friends, Clint Rutkus, who runs Power Toys, we agreed on the fact that, okay, maybe this is a utility that would actually make sense to have built into the Power Toys suit of tools, which is a suit of all sorts of tools. If you're not using it, click the link in the description, go download Power Toys. It will change your life. Things like Fancy Zones or Power Toys Run, it, it literally makes you more productive on your computer. I wanna give you a walkthrough of what Power Toys Awake, the utility that I wrote, is actually about. So I'm gonna just switch to my screen here. And you might be looking at my screen and thinking like, Dan, hold on, you're showing Visual Studio. Uh, yes, that, that's intentional. So I will be showing you the freshest build of Power Toys Awake that I have that actually comes from uh, a local repository, local copy of the Power Toys repository that I've built. So Power Toys Awake, uh, it's a utility that's written in C Sharp. It is entirely using standard Windows API. There's no any custom magic. If you start digging through the code, actually, um, and since we're in the code here, all it is, it's a tool that runs in the command line and accepts some command line parameters. And then depending on what you tell it, it will keep your computer awake with the right settings. Now there's three modes of operation. There's the passive mode, in which case you're not doing anything. So it's as if Power Toys Awake doesn't exist, but it still runs in the background. There is the indefinite keep awake. So just keep the computer awake for as long as possible. You know, while the computer is running, it's independent. And then there is a time keep awake. So you can keep the computer awake for a limited time. For example, if you know that you have a process in the background, you know, maybe you're running some 
video processing or audio export and you need to wait two hours. So you can set up that uh, tool, Power Toys Awake, to keep your computer awake for only two hours. So the program itself doesn't do anything super complicated, despite the fact that, you know, people might assume that, wow, it's a new tool. It probably does something that is complex on the background to calculate when it needs to, it, it does not. It, it really does not. It's very simple. So all it does, it, it's using the Windows API to keep the machine awake and it's using the same API that a lot of the video players are using, that a lot of the video export tools are using. So set threat execution state. The idea is that as I called out, it just tells Windows, hey, can you, you know, I'll spin up a new thread. Can you keep the computer awake while this thread is alive with the right settings that I give that thread? And depending on that, it will do its job. So enough of me talking about kind of the, the background to it. Let's actually run the tool so you'll see what it does. And I'm gonna execute it. And what will happen is you'll see that in the system tray, uh, so if I open here, there is the Power Toys icon. So that is fairly standard. If you've been using Power Toys, it's still here. But now you also have this coffee cup, which represents Power Toys Awake. And this is where you can manage Awake from. But before I get to that, let's jump into Power Toys. So I'm going to open the screen here. And these are the Power Toys settings. And if you're not familiar with it, this is the central entry point where you can modify anything about Power Toys just without dealing with JSON files or anything like that in the background. So we'll go to the awake screen here, and this is your awake management or control panel panel, I guess. So uh, very simple. Uh, you can either enable awake or disable awake. That was self-explanatory. It either runs the process or it doesn't. So if I turn it off, the power toys awake process just goes away. If I turn it on, it starts away and the coffee cup is back in my system tray. Now, when I set the behavior, if it's off, this essentially means that the tool is not activated. Now the process is running, but your computer just does not get any new settings for, you know, the, the how it should keep it awake, whether the screen should be on or not. It just does not apply. The second setting here is keep awake indefinitely. Setting this means that while Power Toys Awake is running, the computer will be kept awake. Now, if you terminate the process, if you just exit Power Toys Awake, if you exit Power Toys, it will just shut down, right? Like the, the setting is not applied and your regular sleep settings are in effect. And then the third setting is keep awake temporarily. And this is where if you just need to set it up and say, hey, you know, keep this for 11 minutes, for however long you need to keep it awake. So easy to manage and if you need to do a you know a screen on or off you can set this up as well so if you don't want to have the screen on you can disable the setting and the screen will shut down but the computer itself will be running and i'll just call this out once again that this application does not mess with your power settings at all it does not touch your power plan it does not edit the registry it does not edit when and how your computer goes to sleep it purely operates from the fact that it spins up a new thread in the background and says, hey, Windows, can you please keep this application running according to the thread parameters that I just gave you? So this is all nice and you can manage the application for Power Toys settings, but what about the system tray? Well, if you see this coffee cup here, and like I mentioned, you can right click on it and you can very easily exit the tool if you feel like, you know what, it shouldn't be running. You can set the setting to keep the screen on. You can set the mode again off keep awake indefinitely keep awake temporarily for a preset number of minutes so 30 60 120 and these are just options that are given to you for convenience you know if you need to set more then you can just go to power toys awake settings and just do it from here now the cool thing about power toys awake too is that and you probably spotted that in the code but if i go to my program.cs You'll notice that there's command line parameters and you might be thinking, okay, well, so far we've been seeing all this visual stuff that uh, I've been talking about Power Toys Awake, that you can actually manage it from the tray or the Power Toys settings. Why do I need command line parameters? Well, the good news is that the Power Toys Awake as a tool also works in standalone mode. So you don't actually need to run Power Toys. And for that, I will show you here so I'm gonna 
let's go to awake and if i find the setting to actually open it in explorer and we'll go to my power toys fork and we will go to x64 debug and it actually might be it it's modules awake there we go and what i'll do is also run windows terminal here and i'll drag it right over for convenience and I can just drag over Power Toys Awake EXE right over here. So notice that now I am capable to actually run this tool from the terminal. If I do this, it spins up this new window here and it kind of lists the options that you started with, but you can run this from the command line. Just like you can run Caffeinate on Mac OS, you can do the exact same thing here. So super helpful if you need to make sure that, you know, you're again, you're independent of power toys, but you want to run the tool. You can use uh, PT config. So this parameter means that you're going to be using the power toys configuration JSON file, and it's going to be watching that file for changes. So whenever you modify it, for example, if you are using a process that is not even power toys, but something that changes that file for how long the machine should sleep, whether you need to keep the display on, that is the way to do it. And then, the other thing that you can call out here again is display on is whether you need to keep the display on or not. By default, that setting is true. So if you're not setting right now, I think it's using the uh, one of the local bills that I have that is false, but by default it's true. Time limit again in seconds, how much time you wanna keep the computer awake. And then the PID, which is the process ID, it's I love this hack because it was originally designed to make sure that it is used with power toys and when the power toys process runs then power toys awake runs when the power toys process ends awake ends what you can do if you run this from the command line though is you can literally bind this to any process id so for example if you're running adobe premiere to export a video you can bind awake to adobe premiere and whenever adobe premiere finishes and exits and if you're not shutting down the computer, for example, uh, you can make sure that uh, until then, awake keeps the computer awake, but then it gets back to its normal sleep settings. So try this out, go download the tool. It's Power Toys Awake. It's in the Power Toys repository that you can get on GitHub entirely for free. It is official Microsoft software. We're still iterating. We're still making a lot of changes. It's growing. It is evolving as we speak. There's a lot of bugs that are probably assigned to me. And if there's any issues, feel free to reach out, ping me on Twitter, leave comments on this video, whichever works. And I'd be happy to talk to you about this and curious to hear what you think. Until next time.